It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC East. It's the Washington Commanders and the New York Giants, and it's... Twenty-two men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. And they will be led out by the youngster, the rookie, their QB. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Throwing on first down, McCarthy. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Looking to throw. McCarthy. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards, good for a giant first down. And as you're game planning as a staff, you go through all the different ways you can neutralize the other guys' pass rushers. Extra linemen, leave a tight end in, bring the running backs back in to block, or you can do this, a little simple screen pass, and it works to perfection. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A give up the middle to Singletary. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. To throw on second down, McCarthy. As this complete to Daniel Bellinger. That one, a first down pickup of eight. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. On first and 10, McCarthy. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and a couple. Back to throw. McCarthy going right side. He finds Slayton. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. That's what it is. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Again, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give the rookie another one on this opening drive and a first down with it. A nice start, Charles, for the first-year passer. He's come out, made a few plays, nice plays to begin this contest. He certainly has, and if he finishes off this drive with a touchdown pass, I vote we don't call him rookie anymore. We'll move him right to veteran and continue from there. 
They go play action here on first down. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to throw again. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Well, what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Off the bootleg, McCarthy, and it's incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball of their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Devin Singletary, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Giants will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Gano the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it was finished off by a Devin Singletary touchdown run. following the touchdown here to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it, and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Looking to throw. Daniels. And his throw is incomplete. Charles already trailing by a touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. And complete to Zach Ertz. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his free safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. Five yards, and that means they come up short 
as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got the seven to nothing lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want to repeat of their first drive. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. They'll run on first down with Singletary, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there, pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Looking to throw on second down. McCarthy, that's complete to Slayton. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Back to throw. McCarthy. Got a man, Slayton. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. That's the third time on this drive that these two have connected with each other. They've got a real rapport going, and right now it's paying off with big chunks of yardage as shown by that last play. Now a play fake here on first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready to roll for the second quarter from MetLife Stadium. The Giants with the football as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. They'll run out of the gun with Singletary. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. On first down, they stick with Singletary. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and five. Singletary again. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. On first down, McCarthy. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Wandale Robinson, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Go, 
Throwing again. McCarthy. And quickly into the hands of Robinson. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They run here with Singletary, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. This defense has really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Again, it'll be Singletary. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop. Ball right around the five here brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick. Throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Touchdown! Isaiah McKenzie from six yards away. And the Giants go up by two touchdowns. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point try, good by Gano, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. following the touchdown here to kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 46. And yet again, it's McClure. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 
Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. He may go back to the huddle and have a little discussion with his passer. You know, maybe you don't have to leave me quite that much. <laughs> but on that play, bailed him out in a big way, didn't he? He did indeed. Hey, at least he gets to put it on the highlight reel. They'll look to throw again. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure, and it's second down. Well, that's a big defensive stop there, and it takes away a lot of the momentum from the offense coming off that big completion to prior snap. Give big credit to the defense for bouncing back. Off play action. Daniels. He dumps it to Eckler underneath. A gain of eight there on the play, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And it's a fumble. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead, and it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Commanders are back within a score. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. McManus's point after is good, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. Washington kick team back out there now as they will send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well. So that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. Throwing on first down, McCarthy. He'll get this to Devin Singletary out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, McCarthy. The throw on target to his receiver, McKenzie. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. McCarthy. Now they go screen. It's complete. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. 
Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Two yards to go, second down. Looking to throw, McCarthy. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in. And now due to apparent time constraints, we fast forward to the beginning of the second half. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Ten-point game, 17-7 to score as we get back to it on EA Sports. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here come the commanders for the first possession of the third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well and they've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Daniels. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. On the return is Olszewski. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. Singletary to get the drive started. 
Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second down and eight. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Got his man complete over the middle. It's McKenzie. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. On first and 10, McCarthy. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. So they'll get eight out of that completion, and they'll be left with second and a couple. Now he'll try to run with this. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper. 17 yards, first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Darren Waller, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. To throw again, McCarthy. And his throw here's incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Off the play fake. McCarthy. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action sack. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Gano's kick is good, and that will open the lead up now to 20 to 7. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that could all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And the Washington offense going back to work. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. 
An injury going to pause the game here, and it looks like yeah, it's Terry McLaurin who's in some discomfort. Not sure what happened. Hopefully this is nothing major. From the 29, here's second and a couple. The handoff, it's Eckler, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I know they'd love to take some heat off of that young quarterback, but so far, not much in the running game, and this won't help things either. A loss on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Daniels throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here's Tressway now as he's on to punt for Washington. Forty three yards on the punt return of four and they will take over first and ten. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. They go right back to Singletary. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 52 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. On first down, McCarthy. And Waller taking it in over the middle. It'll be a gain of five, and it's second down. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This defense trying to do its part, active hands on that play, but their offense hasn't given them much to work with. So they're not going to worry about it. On their side of the ball, all they're concerned about, can they create some scoring opportunities and help out that offense? Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Now yeah, that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. They call it a loss of a yard there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. A second field goal here this third quarter in his third of the game so far. He's been an important part of the offense, that's for sure, and they may need him again before this one's said and done. So I would treat him like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter. Leave him alone and let him focus.
After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Kayvon Thibodeau buries him for a loss of 11 from his outside linebacker spot. Defenders are always happy anytime they can sack a quarterback for a loss of 10 or more yards. There's an example there, high fives all around. And that is gonna do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. Now they're in some hot water now. After that sack, it's second and 21. Back to throw. Daniels. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. It'll go down as a gain of six. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's Tressway now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. McCarthy, he finds Robinson. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Play action. McCarthy. Short throw. Going to be caught by Waller. Two yards. Good enough for a first. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Throwing on first down. McCarthy. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Now he'll look to throw here on second and 10. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and two. McCarthy, he's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 36. 
11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Well, normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game, and trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. That ball caught by Slayton. And they move this all the way down to the nine. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. If they continue to throw these safe passes, who can blame them? Looking to throw, McCarthy. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Darius Slayton, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QBing is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Gano the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. To throw on second down, Daniels. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 10 yards there, good for a Washington first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 
Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for... And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Zach Ertz from 13 yards out. And the Commanders get a bit closer. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time you step up and throw the football, there's a lesson to be learned. Yeah, he took advantage of a little bit of loose coverage there with the lead, but at the same time, got it done. And it'll take a little bit of satisfaction away from that throw. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be covered up by the Giants. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays. And they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. Three yards on the pick up there, and they've got it back to third and ten. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. On third down, McCarthy. That is caught, and he's going to get this inside the 30. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Partner, that's excellent timing right there, breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. On the handoff, it's Singletary. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Now that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. So a victory here for the men in blue, the New York Giants. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. 
Well, what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just a week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.